If there was a tune that strung small town American communities together, then you might consider the general store its common chord. Oh, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. First opened in the early 1800s, the Elmore store in Elmore, Vermont has been a fixture of this town tucked next to a lake. It has all the usual staples and also serves as the post office. In a place without cell service, it's been a hub of communication and commerce for two centuries. The general store in many ways is like one of America's last egalitarian places where whomever you are, you're welcome to go to the store and buy something. And when you're there, you can get the gossip or joke with a neighbor. But back in 2019, the longtime owners put it up for sale. We're just talking about you, man. This tight-knit community worried that like so many other small town stores in America, this place would be shuttered. So the town of Elmore, home to just 800 people, decided to do something. Everybody in town is, was worried about what would happen with the store. <laughs> That's Trevor Braun, a lifelong Elmore resident. He now sits on the board for the Elmore Community Trust, a group formed to save this store. We all kind of have to rely on each other uh, for things. Through an aggressive fundraising campaign in this tiny corner of rural America, they raised $400,000 needed to buy the building. $25 here, $250 there, uh, just added up over time. My name is Kate Gluckman, and I'm one of the co-owners of the Elmore store. Kate and her husband Mike took over running the store in January. They don't own the building itself, though. That's where the community trust comes in. The nonprofit owns the brick and mortar and is responsible for upkeep. We want to help preserve those spaces and preserve that kind of way of life. All of that gives these small business owners a chance to focus on running a business, while at the same time ensuring this small town doesn't lose its store. I do think it is an innovative way to preserve these really important spaces. At the turn of the 20th century, general stores could be found in nearly every American community. But in the 1930s, supermarkets began to spring up. Gradually, unable to compete, general stores closed from coast to coast. I think it can be really devastating for a community, you know, particularly that sense of, a real sense of loss, uh, a loss of connection, a loss of community identity. Ben Doyle is a preservationist. There has to be a way to separate the real estate management of the building from the actual business that's being operated. He is seeing an increasing number of communities using the trust model to save small town stores. Some rural towns are now reopening stores that have been closed for years. The store can actually focus on being a store, that that's what they do. The landlord, in this case, the trust, isn't trying to make a buck off of the rent. They're trying to ensure that the mission of community vitality in the store being successful goes on. There are still plenty of verses left to be written for the Elmore store. The community trust is now trying to raise $2 million needed for renovations. But having saved this fixture of an American era long gone by, they are hoping its swan song is far from over. In Elmore, Vermont, I'm Chris Conti.